Hello, everybody. So, today I'm going to make a makeup tutorial. Hooray! Because you guys have asked a lot about one. Um, I don't think it's going to be that interesting because I don't really do a whole lot on a daily basis, but I will try and make this the most exciting and enthralling makeup tutorial you guys have ever seen. I will fail miserably at that, but um, it's the thought and the effort that counts. So just keep that in mind while you're watching. But yeah, get ready for the wildest ride of a makeup tutorial you've ever seen or encountered in your entire life. So starting out, I'm using the Perfecting Skin Tint in light and medium. I use three drops of light, three drops of medium, and mix it in my hand. You know, I probably should have a palette, but who needs that when you can have a perfectly toned hand? And then I put it on the T-zone and just blend it out, right? While making faces, those are optional though. And then I use their new stretch concealer, which is freaking awesome. I use it in light and I tap it on. And then right about now is the time where I realized that I messed up and I should have done my color correcting before I did this. But I just keep going because I want to look like I know what I'm doing. And then I use the color corrector and I just kind of tap it on, right, in the places that are red because everybody's got those. Everybody has them, but we don't want them, do we? So we get rid of them. Then I come back with a concealer and put the concealer over it so you don't look like you got little green splotches all over your face. Unless you want that, then you can do that. Then I use the new lipstick in Cake because it's a nice kind of peachy color and I use that to cover my under eye circles because if you have light skin, you're supposed to use peach instead of orange. Who knew? I just learned that. And then you cover it up with the concealer because again, you don't wanna look weird with colors on your face unless you wanna look weird with colors on your face. Then I use RMS Beauty's translucent powder and I use one of these little fluffy brushes. I don't know what they're called. I, I don't really know anything, but you use this one, okay, right? And you use it in little swirly whirly motions under your eyes, on your eyes, on any places where you want the concealer to really stay put. Here's where I fricked up the little part in between my eyebrows. Um, so I had to kind of redo that, but it's okay. Everything worked out. We figured it out. We're a team, right? You guys helped me. I helped myself. We help each other. This, this is what we do. Now I'm using this Clinique palette that I stole from my mom. And it's nice. I like it. So I use the light color first, and I use the same brush because I'm the worst person ever. But I use the light color first, and then I come back with the blush on my eyelids because it looks great, okay? It looks awesome, I think, I don't know. Then I come back with the dark color and I put that in my crease because you wanna have eyelids, right? You wanna have creases in your eyelids. Unless you don't wanna have creases in your eyelids, then don't. <laughs> I like that I'm giving you guys a lot of freedom here. Um, and here I am putting on the same blush color that I put on my eyelids on my cheekies. So it matches, cute, right? It's cute. Now here's the fun part. You use the Stila, Stila, however you say it, liquid liner and you go at it. You let the liner and your eyelash line become your friend because that's what they are really. When it comes down to it, they're best buds or you make them be best buds. You know, it's like when your mom made you hang out with the kid that you didn't want to hang out with when you were little, and it was kind of okay. You were like, wait, this is fine. I'm sort of into this. So I did my left eye, and it was freaking awesome, right? But then I ruined my own life with this right eye, and I swear it probably took me 10 minutes to make it okay. And um, so this is just gonna go on for a long time, and I didn't edit out the really stressful process of trying to make them even.
All right, now moving on, I am using Kevin Aquan's curling mascara and I use it on the bottom lashes and then only like the inner and middle of the top lashes just to give it a nice natural look. And then I follow it up with Benefit's Roller Lash and I use that on the outside of my top lashes because it gives you the look of having falsies on. You don't, but it looks like it. It's the best trick ever, guys, if you wanna trick people with makeup. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. Okay, and right here is the boy brow in brown, but I'm not gonna use that yet because I'm going to use this brow pencil and I'm going to make myself like my left eyebrow because I don't like it. It doesn't look like my right one and I get that they're sisters, not twins, but I want them to be twins, okay? So I do that. Then I follow it up with the boy brow and it's like this really nice pomade and it does the same thing as a brow gel, but it doesn't get stiff. It moves and it looks so natural and nice and so I just like go to town with that and I give myself like the cutest little, I mean literal boy brow that I could even imagine. Then you gotta hit your lips with the RMS Beauty Diabolique Lip to Cheek because that stuff's awesome. And I'll put it on the bottom part of my bottom lip and the top part of my top lip and then kind of a little bit all over. So it gives your lips this like the really nice full look like, hey, I just, you know, oh, I just, just bitten, you know, whatever. Then I use the Living Luminizer and I put that on my cheekbones and I put it on the tip of my little nosy and I put it on the bridge of my nose and the bow of my lips and then I'll put it just a little bit under my eyebrows. And then you gotta stretch it out because you're done. That's right, you did it. So, that's it. It was way longer than I thought it was going to be. I actually ran out of time, so I really did a number here. Some days I don't do the cat eye or really the eyeshadow, I'll just swipe on the mascara, but I was feeling uh, pretty crazy today, so I did it and fricked it up the first time around um, with my right eye, so, you know, had to go back and fix that. But, um, yeah, hey, so this is it. This is kind of like a daily look for me. I actually wore this look to um, an audition and a callback, the subsequent callback yesterday and the day before. Anyways, hey, thank you so much for watching and um, I will have more videos very soon. Uh, oh yeah, also, um, let me know if you do this look. I would love to see photos, so tag me in Instagram or Twitter or whatever because I would love to see it on your face. For one of the next videos, I wanna do a Q&A, so um, ask me questions down below and um, let me know what you guys want me to answer or ask me things that I will answer because that's what people do in Q and A's. They answer questions. I'm gonna do that too. I'm gonna be one of those people for you guys. Um, again, round two, like two.